what is going on guys will blending um, thank you for returning to the channel I want to do this quick video on because I, I got to keep doing these videos because I guess people don't understand your time is valuable but I have a venting process so when you come on a channel you want to speak to me I don't have a secretary so I have to use another type of process to vent out time wasters and it's unfortunate that some people take it personal because they don't want to go through my vetting process. I had a uh, recent, I think she's a subscriber. I'm not sure if it's a man or female, but I think it's uh, uh, a female. I don't know, I could be wrong. She emailed me and she wanted to speak to me more about setting up a um, nonprofit organization. I don't personally do the nonprofits, but I have a law firm that I work with that can set you up a legitimate nonprofit organization. Um, and it could take quite a bit of time. It could take quite a bit of time, quite a bit of money. And they didn't want to go through the vending process. A lot of times you guys will email me, you, you immediately want me to get on the phone with you. And the problem is with that, I've done that in the past, and I've gotten people that will want to spend an entire hour on the phone asking you really intense questions, you know, with a lot of details, and then you find out that they don't even have any money to invest. So basically, we're looking for a partner to be the money person, to put up some money, and we would provide the network that it takes to set up the um, the nonprofit organization and we're gonna get a very small percentage we're practically doing it for free all the money is gonna basically go to the law firm to get things set up very legal but um they immediately got defensive because I'm trying to email qualifying questions trying to find out if they're not a time waster and they actually want to invest they actually have money ready to invest and they took it a little personal because I'm going through my vetting process and people don't like when you don't get on the phone nowadays. But you guys gotta understand, I get hundreds of emails and I'm not even popular. I'm not famous, I'm not popular, but I get a lot of emails from a lot of time wasters. They wanna get you on the phone to waste your time. And I'm sorry if I gotta vent you out and you're not a time waster, I have to go through the email process to find out if you're even qualified for us to even get on the phone with so we're not wasting our time. I don't have a secretary to wean these people out. So this person probably got very offended. We're probably not gonna email me back again and they may not even watch my videos ever again. That's their choice. That's the beauty of having your own economy and building a network of people that actually like the information and the content you're giving out. I'm gonna say this in this video and try to be very clear. It is not personal. I'm not trying to personally treat you bad by not responding. It's just I don't have the physical time to get on the phone with people that wanna to talk to me for an entire hour and they don't even have any money to get these companies started. The money's not for me. The money's for you to basically help you get started. I'm getting a little small percentage, if that at all, to get the, you hooked up with these people to do this stuff. So it's not like I'm making a lot of money and they're like, well, you're asking for a lot of money and this, this and that. I should just jump on the phone like I'm making $10,000 myself. No, you know. At the very best, I'm gonna get $1,000 for myself by the time the entire transaction is done and they're acting like it's 10 grand that I will be pocketing myself. I'm sorry, people. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just I have to do this vending process. You have to email me first. You have to give me good reasons why and if you're serious or not, for me to get on the phone for you an hour, answer all your questions, you know, I just want to know a few details about you before I even get on the phone so I'm not wasting my time. And a lot of people aren't going to understand that. So I guess I had to put out this video to let them know that. Um, for those of you new to the channel, again, my name is William Blanding. 
I talk a lot about holding companies. Um, I talk about a lot about nonprofit organizations. I don't physically do the stuff myself. I work with law firms that will get you set up legal. Um, I just, in the middleman, I provide you with, I'm more of a business consultant that, that's the middleman to provide you with the information you need to get your own company off the ground and start it. Now, what I do do sometimes is I will offer a partnership arrangement or deal that I will personally partner with you so you'll have ongoing support and you could ask the million questions you want to ask. But we got to get through the vetting process. I have to find out if you're a time waster or not. And unfortunately, if you take that personal, you're probably not the person we're looking for. The person we're looking for is not going to, they're going to understand this because they understand business. And um, this person also said it was a lot of money. If you think five to 10 grand is a lot of money to give you a, a, a nonprofit organization with all the exemptions, so you can save in taxes, um, you can never be fired. Um, it's a form of asset protection because if you slip and fall somewhere else or you get in a car accident, they can't take your nonprofit. They can take your personal assets, but they cannot take the nonprofit. So it is a means of um, asset protection as far as that. Um, the only requirement is one or if all members have to be in the state where you're forming, it, forming the actual nonprofit. I believe you don't even have to have all the, uh, the board members have to live in that state but at least one to all have to work, live or work in that state. Um, so this person got really defensive and cause I just would not just pick up the phone, call them right away, but I know how this goes. I've done it several times. I'll get these people on the phone. They want to just chat it up, give me all types of scenarios and ideas that are great ideas. Some of you really have great ideas but I just wasted an hour on the phone to hear about your idea. And when I say, okay, well, how much money do you have to invest in this? And you have nothing. You're not prepared to pay me nothing. You're not prepared to put any money up to get this started. You wasted an hour out of my day when I could have been driving or doing another video. And you're mad at me. It's, this is how business works, people. I have to put this system in place because in the future, there may come a time where I'm that busy that I really don't have the time to get on the phone with a thousand people. I'm not saying I'm there yet, but I am already there where I get sometimes, you know, 20 to 50 emails that I got to go through just to vet people out. And um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to uh, do it to you because I know how you guys feel. Because I kind of feel with this COVID, a lot of people don't want to pick up the phone. I personally feel like that. But I also know that if you're short staffed, I have no staff right now. It's just me. So if I tell you I don't want to pick up your phone call until I ask you some qualifying questions, Try not to take it personal. That's all I can tell you guys. Email me. My email link's below. I have some links below for some other opportunities and some other businesses you can get in going. A lot of people be like, I don't have a side hustle. z is a side hustle. You know, check the links below. And email me if you have questions. I try to eventually respond to your email, but I just, I can't get on the phone and talk to somebody for an hour, you know, I just can't because if I got to do it for you, I got to do it for 20 other people. And there goes my whole day, you know, so try not to take it personal. This is part of my venting process. If you are interested in starting a holding company or any kind of company, I do have a video. I might link it below explaining uh, about how much a good holding company should cost. I might also put my uh, nonprofit video underneath this video. But um, if you're interested in doing a nonprofit or you're interested in doing a holding company, 
get in contact with me and I will try to explain the process and how much it's gonna cost within the video. Then you email me your questions. I'll email you back some questions and then we can move forward. I'll give you the phone call and then we can move forward. I know this works because I've done it. You know, as much as you might think it doesn't work, it works and it provides me with the situation where I don't have to hire somebody just to pick up answer phone calls all day. So thank you for your time. Thank you for being understanding the ones that are loyal and understand business. I just cannot get on the phone with each and every one of you right away. Um, go through my process. Um, and the smart people, they get me on the phone. I'll tell you about this. Did you know that if you just join Zetegrity, you would have the means to have access to my phone number and anybody that has access to Zetegrity, they will just directly pick up the phone and call me. You know, that should be a hint right there that there are ways you could just get access to me just by becoming a Zetegrity card holder. You know, I'm listed as one of the people marketing Zetegrity. So if you become part of Zetegrity, you'll have access to my phone number and then you could just call me. And most likely, you know, depending if I'm busy or not, I'll answer. And then you can ask me questions. People call me all the time and ask me direct questions about Zetegrity because I've designed it that way. You become a member of Zetegrity, you have access to call me directly and just ask me even questions about Zetegrity. You know, so that is one way to get in contact with me is through Zetegrity. Links below. Thank you guys for your time. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.